club waters. Um, I'm actually on the runs water. Um, I did I did fish here for a day uh, a few weeks back. Um, uh, I did put some stuff up on social media and that, but I didn't do any recording. Um, but I'm back there now. Um, on that particular day, I had lots of sort of like eight to ten pounders. Um, it's good fun. Um, it's what what I wanted out of the day. Um, today I'm trying to trying to single out some of the bigger fish. Um, so I don't expect it to be so hectic. Trying to <laughs> reeling in fish every ten minutes, but um, yeah, I'm I'm hoping to get at least some some mid doubles um, out of here and with a bit of luck maybe a 20 uh, there are some in here so um, yeah uh, there's supposedly high 20 in here somewhere um, though I'm not convinced um, I think probably mid 20 would be a push but, um, who knows um, I was um, casting out to the far side as a there's a little spit that comes out and um, I was fishing off of that. Um, I had one probably about a rod length off it, um, which was fine, and then I had another rod length, rod length further left, and um, I had two takes on that, and both times it snagged me up. So there's obviously a snag there that I don't know about, so I've actually moved away from that spot because I don't want to be losing tackle and leaving tackle in the water all the time. So, um, yeah, now I'm actually fishing to the left margin. Um, rods are a little bit uh, wrong angle for it so I might have to move them at some point um, I'm just going to see what happens first um, I've had a few liners because um, I have some fish down there so yeah so that's that's the that's the uh, plan for the day well I'm here till tomorrow so with any luck I should get some some out uh, well, I hope I do anyway. I'm disappointed if I don't on the runs water. But, um, you know, that's fishing, isn't it? If you don't, you don't. Um, but the idea is to, yeah, at least get some mid doubles. Um, have a bit of fun. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I can bring you some some uh, footage of uh, some some captures. Um, a bit I wanted to, or when I was first set up, I intended to do some float fishing. When I got here, it was nice and calm. But um, yeah, since I've actually got the barrier here and that, and the gear from the, from the van, it's um, it's quite a strong breeze now, and um, quite a bit of ripple on the surface. So it's uh, it's not that on the head really. Um, although I've got all the stuff set up, so it, it calms down again, and that's what yeah, I'll I'm, do. I'm eager for the for the wind to calm down and the ripple to disappear, and uh, and get on the floaters because I haven't had a float, I haven't had fish on the floater this year yet. No, I didn't even try last year so yeah it's been a couple of years since I've had a fish on a floater so I'm eager to to get one out there and, uh, and catch on it so uh, a bit of luck maybe it'll calm down and, uh, and catch one on that method. Um. She asked me like a Pisces when I am weak I've been locked inside your Heart-shaped box for weeks. I've been drawn into your magnet's heart pit trap. I wish I could eat your cancer when you turn black.
Right then. Um, been a bit quiet. Um, not even had that many small ones. I've had a few. Um, but it seemed to have quieted off from about midday. Um, what time is now? So about five o'clock it kicked in again. And uh, yeah, I had an 11 pound literally from where I've got a rod right under my feet in the margin. Um, hell of a scrap it gave. But yeah. In the fight, I was thinking, oh, this is the mid double, upper double I'm after. Yeah, and as soon as it broke the surface, I was like, oh, it's not that big at all. Hell of a scrap it gave. But yeah, £11 that was. Nice looking mirror. Slightly damaged mouth, but you know, what can you do? Um, I treated it, not that that would do anything, it's um, old, old damage. Um, and uh, yeah, it's gone back. I literally put the, that rod back in, and five minutes later, um, a nice little ghosty went came came graced my net. So um, yeah, happy with that. Um, just want him to get bigger. He, the ghosty was only probably about seven or eight pounds, but first ghosty I've had out there. So yeah, pleased with that. That was a pretty fish, really pretty fish, really good condition, um, and that's why I took a photo of that one. Um, I do like my pretty fish, so hopefully now it's getting to the evening. It's actually the ripples actually calmed down, so I'm thinking about putting some floaters out there, see what happens. Um, but yeah, in the night, hopefully in the night, I'll get this uh, mid to upper double that I'm after. Um, so we'll see, and I'll let you know. Cheers. Right, that's the um, that's the point that I was fishing to to start with. Um, I've since been told why there's a snag there. I don't know if I've got to zoom in. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a an old fencing, some sort of fence there, and that actually comes right out under the water, a good 20 yards. So that's what I was snagging up on. Um, bugger because I lost two fish, but I wasn't to know it's there. Um, I've done the right thing moving. Now, typically, I'm now only I'm only actually now fishing seven wraps out um, in that direction, and um, yeah, I'm only like I say, I'm only seven wraps out. But um, if I don't get on the rods quick. There is actually another snag that I've actually lost two fish on. <laughs> another two fish gone, um, so it's catching me out there as well. Don't know what that is. Maybe an old sleeper or something that's in the water. Um, someone said it could possibly be that, or um, maybe even an, an old uh, man-made lily bed. So, um, yeah, I seem to be finding the snags today. But, um, the better stamp of fish are actually coming from just down here, literally just there. close in which is nice and nice runs um, but, uh, basically this is a, this is all the water I've got we'll see if people can turn up on the other side I can only go halfway really but um, I'm actually fishing out that direction anyway and like I say it's only seven wraps so it's not very far yeah so that's that's my water Kids forgive, no, won't just yet Cut myself an angel hair and pay peace breath Broken hymen of your highness, I'm left black Climb right back Hey, hey, I've got a new complaint Forever in touch to your priceless advice Hey, hey, I've got a new complaint Forever in touch to your priceless advice Hey, hey, hey. I've only got one off the top I've been after.
There we go, 14 pound on the nose, off the top, early hours of the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, can't beat that can you, I've been feeding them up since half past 4, and uh, yeah, it's just first, because it was still quite dark, the first hour they weren't really um, taking, and then, yeah, about half past five they started taking, taking them with guts though, so, I mean, they were competing with the goals, and they they're also attacking me, me, um, controller float as well, so, yeah, lost two, I think, lost one last night, and then it got a bit dark, and then, uh, yeah, lost two this morning, Balls um, happens with float fishing, but um, yeah, I finally got one. And it's 14, not quite 15, not quite that mid double I'm after, but I'm pretty pleased with that. Lovely common, um, yeah, pretty made up with that actually. What I wanted to do, I wanted to get the floaters out. Uh, ripples have started, you know, the breeze has started, and the ripples are coming in now, so um. Hopefully it'll die off again and I'll be able to have another go on the top. It was good fun. Um, I've got my, all three rods back out now. Um, I've got my one in close to my left and then I've actually moved the other two now. Um, there's a, a overhanging bush down, this, down my left margin. So I've got it just off that. Uh, one's right on it, right on the edge of it. And then one's just off to the right of it, just slightly. About a quarter of a rod length, something like that. So few boilies sprayed around it, um, not going in with the spot around there, just, just put the boilie in and see what happens really. Uh, mixture of live system and Pacific Tuna, um, and hook baits with Pacific Tuna, so yeah. Um, pretty pleased how the session's going, there's some other lads are down the other end and they ain't had much at all. Um, I think they've only had about two fish between them, so they've been here since Friday. So, yeah, um, yeah, I've had quite a few small ones, and uh, I've had bloody roach on boily as well. <laughs> and, um, yeah, only one occurrence in the night, which was a bream. Um, very strange, I thought it was going to be a sleepless night, but uh, they were, just seemed to switch off through the night, which is fine by me, get, let's me get some sleep. So, um, yeah. So hopefully get another one out. Um, I'm eager to get float fishing again now. I really enjoyed that. So uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get another one out. I'll try and get that mid double. Well, as soon as I put the camera down, uh, the, the roller got tight to the bush. Went off. Uh, nine pound common, common. So perhaps we've got a little spot there. So yeah, rod's back out now. Um, so we can get another one. Really want that mid double for you. Do my best. I wish I could eat your cancer.